All right. Well, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're new to the channel. This is actually episode number 29. So if you're the first time viewer of this channel, this is post-game interview cards. I'm from Minnesota. Uh, as you can probably guess with my Teddy Bridgewater jersey. And a little bit about me if you're new to the channel. Um, I am a teacher. I teach third grade in Minnesota. I am a single father of three kids. I've been collecting since 1991. I worked in a card shop from 99 until 2002. I love the hobby. I, I hope one day as this channel grows, I can do some Zoom calls with some people in the hobby that love talking about cards like I do. I haven't opened up packs in 20 years for football, so this will be new. So I am a firm believer in buying singles, buying collections. I got about one to two million cards at home. Uh, you can see my eBay mail day videos. I've done six in the last one month, so I, I get a lot on eBay. I'm working on that. Um, I'm also selling a lot on eBay. I've had about 10,000 in sales the last month as well, so I am all in. I'm, I'm loving this as a, a hobby where I can make some money on the side. One thing with me as a card collector, I never get attached to cards. So if the, the time is right to sell, I'm ready to move it. I have some personal cards that I love. I love Kirby Puckett. I love Randy Moss. I love Kevin Garnett. But I would say it's more of an investment at this point. Okay, so my, my views towards the hobby has kind of changed a little bit. I just love, my biggest thing I love, autographs. Autographs of Baseball Hall of Famers. That is my passion right there. So a little bit different, obviously. So again, this is the first time that I've opened packs in 20 years for football. I remember working at the card shop, um, opening cards from 99, 98. But man, I haven't opened up packs of football in 20 years. I've been buying. I haven't taken a year off where I haven't been buying cards. But this is a new experience. So I have a friend named Nick that... He went to Walmart and Target and found about $180 worth of cards. So this is Panini, Panini Contenders football. So again, looking for the Herbert, the Tua, Burrow, Jordan Love, maybe in a couple years will take over Aaron Rodgers' spot at Green Bay. The only card that he wants out of all these is Justin Jefferson. He's a big Vikings fan like I am. Now my guess would be that all of the cards here will end up being mine. Uh, that's usually how the it goes, where Nick opens packs from Walmart Target, and then I buy everything he doesn't want, and he keeps recycling the money. So chances are a lot of these will be mine um, tomorrow, but we'll see. All right, starting off, so we've got we have a cello pack. This one has 22 cards. We have two hanger boxes, and if you're new to the channel, the hanger ones are the ones that hang on the, the shelf there. Then we have two mega boxes. And then these are blasters. All right, so we'll give it a try. I'm excited. I've been telling Nick, you know, if you ever get packs, I'll open them on the channel. I'll give you some free supplies. And then it would help me maybe get some views. Because I know for a fact that most of the people that are watching this right now have never watched one of my videos before. Okay? And if you are interested, I got 28 videos you can watch. So I'm not going to go over all the names here. I don't think there's a whole lot of reason for that. One fun fact, the bottom number is how old they are. I'm not huge into purchasing packs, but I love watching other people open packs. If you are watching this, maybe you've heard of If Sports Cards with Ian. I know we live about 15 to 20 miles away from each other. These boxes could have easily been his cards. All right. We got our first card that I'll penny sleeve. 
Ooh, I'm a big fan of Kyler Murray. Oh, ooh. Don't see that too often. You get a, a green parallel, same pack. So what I'll do is I'll penny sleeve all the ones that have value. I'm going to say over a couple bucks. I think a dollar bin cards. All right, so next up, we're going to go into hanger box number one. We're looking for the hanger box exclusives. So if you're familiar with buying packs, you'll know that some have exclusives for hangers, exclusives for blasters, exclusives for mega boxes. And even if you buy Donruss at the dollar store, you can see yellow parallels. So I may never open packs on my own, but I do watch a lot of other people watch it. Like if sports cards, Ian, Jab's family. I love all his knowledge around baseball. So again, when it comes to just the base cards, there's no need for me to say their name. Okay. I think if you're watching this, I don't think anybody cares about the base unless it's a brand new video reveal or you're introducing a new product, Chase Claypool. Again, if I feel like anybody would pay a dollar for it, I'll penny sleeve it for my friend here. Zeke Elliott, my son's good friend, is a big Zeke Elliott fan, just wearing his jersey when he slept over last night. All right. So there's a lot of inserts that don't hold a whole lot of value in this. Wonder if this guy will get traded to the Bears soon. That'd be awesome. I've been buying his Tops and Tops Chrome rookies for a long time. I could see them spiking at least for a couple days if he gets traded. So nothing worth much so far. I don't think there's anything that I've seen so far that would sell for more than a buck or two, which is kind of the chance you take with, with buying back boxes. But you can also never win big if you don't take a chance. So I'm the kind of person that if you lose $20 at a casino, I am done for the day. Or I'm the kind of person that dreams about winning the jackpot, but I never buy the Powerball ticket. So you can't win big if you don't take risks, which is normal. I'm just not that person. All right. You can see some of the base there. Speaking of base, I remember watching videos of people opening packs from like 2012 Prism. And going through those and saying, oh, just base cards, not a big deal. But looking back on those and seeing LeBron James base cards now go for about 100 bucks. It's not just base anymore. The whole hobby has changed. I picked up some, uh, if you're into basketball, I picked up the Chalk Toss LeBron Tops Chrome card. I picked up two of those today. Picked up a Durant, Durant second year Chrome just looking for cards that are hot in the hobby. Mike Trout, second year prism. A lot of stuff I can flip right away. So if you're watching my channel, you'll see that I have six different eBay videos where I do mail day, because I get a, about four packages every day in the mail. I am an addict to buying stuff on eBay. I love the combined shipping. That gets me. So you'll also see, this is the first time you get to open packs. What I'm gonna do is speed it up. I'm gonna get these packs. So in the hanger and the cello pack, you don't actually get to open a pack. So again, all of these cards were $180. And so far we have received nothing in regards to a rookie or a memorabilia card. So it's been a bust thus far. We'll see how things evolve here. Again, more base. I've always wondered if these are actually sell for anything on eBay. They don't. I found 400 of them on eBay for $10. Well, that's a good start. We get a Tom Brady. Juan Barkley, hopefully he comes back from that injury. 
I'm sure he'll be a top five fantasy player in the running back position. Just want to get a card where you can use those snap cases I bought. If you haven't noticed, supplies. There you go. Adam Thielen from Mankato. On two hours west of where I live. Some more base here. Um, yeah, supplies have gone up. So I, I personally bite the bullet and spent $400 on supplies. Top loaders, snap cases, penny sleeves, team bags. So much money on supplies. Yeah, it's backwards. Hey, we got a ooh, a Viking. Got our first auto. How about that? Nick's gonna like this one because all he wants to keep is the Vikings players. I've never heard of this player. Let's see if we have anything here for college. Went to Penn State. Awesome. I think for my friend, I better. For now, get that in a in a top loader. Because this is one that he'll keep for his PC. After the video, I'll put in a penny sleeve so it's a little more protected here. All right, if he's looking for one team, got the team we wanted for, we're looking for. All right. Jordan Love and Herbert, I'll take that. Might be the best combination of rookies. I'm not sure if there's a Tua and Burrow. Not sure if they're together. Delvin Cook, 25 years old. He's got a good five years left for the Vikings, hopefully. Jared Goff. I sure don't have any hope in Goff and Wentz and Stafford all in their new teams. I am a sell. Hopefully, if you had some good cards out of those three, hopefully you sold them off. I am big into Tannehill, though. You can still get his Chrome Rookies, Chrome Refractors for extremely cheap. They'll never get to the level of some of the star players, but statistically, he's up there. And if Tennessee puts together some winning records next few years, maybe they'd catch on, but ooh, that'd be awesome if that was a Jonathan Taylor auto. Well, that's good. He's probably one of the top 10 rookies we're looking for. He's got potential. So it's not numbered. It's probably a player-worn jersey. It is not from a specific game or event. So does it even say player-worn? Nope. So they might have just found this like at Savers or Goodwill and just slapped it on there. Probably has nothing to do with him. But... That happens. You know, I was wondering with some of the jersey cards for 2020 with the pandemic, you wonder if they're going to have any game-used cards for 2021. I would think not. A lot of the stuff you see for basketball and football, at least for sure, is all none of it's game-worn. So I would say so far, this has been a big bust. See, Tom Brady Prism cards are about 10 to 15 right now. Almost back to that Super Bowl level. So if a lot of times I buy the cards that Nick doesn't want. So once I'm done with this pack, I'm going to tell you what I would actually pay for this. All right. So here's about probably 200 cards. Be really careful with that. I want to ding the corners. So here's about 200 cards. Here are the highlights so far. I don't know if I would call them highlights, but cards of interest. And when I think about all these, there might be a few that I would sell for $2 a piece, some for a dollar, but a majority of these would be two for a dollar if I had to put a number on it. And then these two, maybe $2 for the Jonathan Taylor, maybe $2 for this. 
So honestly, if I were to look at this and give Nick a price, I would only be in about 10 bucks here so far. Hopefully it changes, we'll see. The first one, it's a blast, or it's a mega box. This one, these two mega boxes have our best chance of getting some better cards here. As you can see, since there are a lot more packs. So what I'll do is I'll take all the packs out of both boxes so we can go a little bit quicker. Usually my videos are extremely long because I'm still teaching and I don't have the time to do a lot of editing. I've done a lot of editing in the past for the schools I've worked at, but I don't feel like doing it during the school year. Once the summer comes around, I see myself going back and taking those videos that I made and make highlight videos, best pickups of 2021, for the first half, but right now I just don't got time. As we're so my school was distant learning for about three months, middle of the school year. I know for me personally, I was in two different quarantines. One that had related to my kids and one in my classroom. So in the months of October and November, there's actually four weeks that I was out of the classroom quarantining. And then soon after that, around election time, is when our most of our state went to distant learning. Because the numbers in Minnesota were about 8,000 per day. Shot up there. Now they're less than 1,000. Almost all teachers are vaccinated in Minnesota. It's definitely a priority for Minnesota. Okay. Another promising future for a running back. Ah, same card, just different player. He got more carries, I think, towards the end of the year. So it's possible that he could be the starter there. We'll see. It's going on 17 minutes. I'm used to making some longer videos. I just want to get a rookie. Man, this is brutal. All right. Elvin Kamara. Tom Brady I'll put out. To a burrow. Drew Locke. Yeah. I'm assuming he's a starter this year, but nothing exciting about him. Well, he's ex okay. Here's. First card, Rookie of the Year contenders, Justin Jefferson. I think that will be Nick's favorite card so far. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. All right. So one thing with Teddy Bridgewater, in Minnesota, there was a kid maybe eight years old that made a song that went viral, at least Minnesota viral, um, trying to get Teddy Bridgewater to his birthday party. And I can't remember if it worked. I know Teddy Bridgewater responded. I can't remember if he went to it or did like a video conference, but that was pretty cool. It was cool to see the athlete kind of take time out of his day to, to have a conversation with that kid. He was Teddy Bridgewater's number one fan. That was cool. And the jersey card? All right, so we got three of the best running backs. We don't have probably the top dog yet. Clyde Edwards Alaire, I think I said it right. Might be forgetting somebody. AJ Dillon maybe has the possibility of getting more touches next year. We'll see. I was talking to Nick. The two players that I actually, oh. Oh shoot, well. Hopefully no one redeems that before Nick gets to it. Maybe I'll send a picture of it. All right, before I post the video. Again, I'm new at this pack opening. So I was talking about what are the two players that you think you can still buy low and make some profit on? And I was thinking Joe Burrow. I think there's going to be a time where people have, are ready to move on and pick somebody else. So I was like, Joe Burrow, 
Joe Burrow and CeeDee Lamb are the two that I see being better than last year. That could have some value. Obviously, I wish it was Justin Jefferson, but his cards are already way up there. Part of me wishes that he would have had a off rookie season and would have allowed me some time to buy. James Robinson, he put up stats. I didn't think he was supposed to be good. Didn't pick him up on any fantasy leagues this year. I was late to the game there. I'm not quite sure if they have any of them that are short print, that are, like I saw it upside down. I know baseball for tops, they do a lot of upside down or short printed. I haven't heard of any. There must be an autograph. I see it's numbered 241. That indicates that it's an auto. So sticker auto. This guy, I don't know much about him. The Washington football team. Receiver, at least, from Temple. At least you got a position player. Better than a defensive player? Oh, Kirk Cousins. I saw a ranking with Kirk Cousins. I think he's the third highest quarterback for salary-wise. Nowhere close to where it should be. I really like these cards, though. I could see how a lot of people don't like them. Once you look at them and figure out what all those numbers are, then I like them more. And I like how Playoff Contenders hasn't changed the look of their cards a whole lot in all those years. Hey, 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 Randy Moss. Still remember, remember where I was watching the Packers-Vikings games where he acted like he was mooning the crowd at Lambeau Field. Seems like it was just yesterday. Same with the 98 rookie year Thanksgiving game against Dallas. I remember watching that at my grandparents' house as a kid. So I'd have been in eighth grade back then. I remember watching that in their bedroom on their very small TV with my cousins and my brother. That's a good combination. So Joe Burrow and Justin Jefferson. Well, some cool looking cards for sure. I don't think there's anything that would sell for over $5 yet. Raw. Patty Ice. Well, Matty Ice, isn't that. Is that Matt Ryan? Matty Ice? Yeah, I would say Tom Brady and Buccaneers is the only base card that I'm putting aside. But I still think those could sell for maybe $2 a piece in bulk. I'm not sure what they would go for. I don't have a whole lot of Tom Brady's. I sold, I probably sold 10 Tom Brady rookies in the last year. I don't think. The only ones I have left are one Quantum Leaf and two Press Pass Turquoise. Those three I purchased on Facebook Marketplace, and they were 10 um, binders of just random cards. I think I only invested 250 for those two cards, three cards, and then, I don't know, 5,000 other cards. I know there was a Drew Brees top rookie, LT top rookie. Most of it was from 99 through 2002. That was kind of the range of that collector. All right. Don't know this guy. He's a receiver from UFC. So Central Florida, just like Dante Culpepper. Come on, I just want to use that snap case. Give me a reason for doing that. Chad A. Uh, 
All right, so, so far I'm looking at about 40 or so dollars that I would offer Nick for these cards. Because for me as a seller, I would group Herberts together. Because I'll sell a lot of these guys in a summer hype. That one feels a little thicker. Yeah. Sure got a lot of the rookie ticket jersey cards. Hmm. I can't remember 250 points. Maybe we got that instead of one of the autos. But I don't know how 250 compares to other point ones. I do love these. Those are sweet inserts. Rookie of the year. Oh, man. I think it's a bust. I was hoping the... First video I opened for cards in 20 years would give a little more than this. Last pack mojo. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, bummer. Well, again, so these are the highlights. Again, you, there's a lot of 50 cent to a dollar cards. It's just having the $180 price to start, it's hard to make your money back. So, inserts, base. Did we not get one rookie? Man, I don't know if we got one rookie. We got those rookie tickets and some autos, but... Man, that's brutal. Well, these rookie tickets. And obviously I know that most of the rookies are autoed. I get that, but... I think products that hold a lot of value that would spark my interest would be Optic and Prism, like everybody else. Um, score, at least with Score, you get more rookies. So here's here's where I'm at. Uh, I would, I know he probably redeems the points. He has a Panini account, so if I were to take out all the Vikings, give him the, the points... I would offer him 40 bucks. I'd be curious what value you would do. Now, if I didn't have a huge collection and sell on eBay every week, I wouldn't buy these for more than 10 bucks um, for my PC. But since I have a um, organization to sell cards, then I'd offer 40 bucks for it. One thing if you're interested, Check out one of my previous videos if you would like to pack a prism. Giving this away. Also giving away a Pudge Rodriguez jersey card from National Treasures. I'm from Minnesota, so gotta give away a Homer Hanky from the 91 World Series. Michael Jordan watch from my childhood. And whew, this is a one of one. Matt Tolbert, poker chip, signed at the Justin Morneau Arthritis Fundraiser. Wow. Two totally random, watch my other videos. We have a Pog, Michael Jordan Pog, and a old tobacco card. And then another video, supplies, free supplies. So I've already had four giveaways. I will plan on doing about six or seven more. All you gotta do is listen to the videos, comment below, subscribe, and then on April 1st, I will randomize, do a live video, and randomize the winner from the 10 different video giveaways. So all you gotta do is subscribe, type in giveaway, or search my videos for giveaway, and then watch the video and do what's below, what the video says. These right here, if you're curious, I got this pack as a free bonus when I bought cards on eBay. 
What a free pack. That's amazing. These go for about 40 to 50 bucks, and I'm going to give it away. So if you hit a jaw or a Zion, a Zion Raw goes for about 400 Man, oh man. After seeing the price, I'm like, man, I shouldn't have offered that giveaway, but that's all right. I'm fine with that. All right. That's all, guys. Hopefully, I, I see more subscribers. Um, I would love to keep this channel going. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. How do you feel? How did Nick do? $180 in. I think this was a bust. But you win some, you lose some. That's how opening packs works. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.